In this video, I'm gonna show you how to buy, sell, and send Bitcoin using your Cash App investing app. If you have any questions throughout this video, please leave them all down in the comments below and I will answer every single one of them for you. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and open up your Cash App app and it's gonna take me to the main screen right there where I, where I can pay and request money. But we're actually gonna click on the icons down there at the bottom right where it's a Bitcoin sign and the stock investing sign. And initially it's gonna take me into the investing side of things, so where all of my stocks are. But we wanna do the Bitcoin. So we're gonna hit Bitcoin. And this tells you what my current balance is. So I have $15.19 worth of Bitcoin at this point in time. Now, if you wanna see how much you've made or lost in Bitcoin, if you've already been investing, you can actually scroll down. And under activity right there, you press on view all. And right here, it's gonna tell you how much you've purchased, how much you've sold, and what your earnings are. So at this point, I'm break even. I haven't made any money, I haven't lost any money, even though I've been buying just $1 worth of Bitcoin every single day. So let's go ahead and X out of this so we can start the process of showing how to buy, sell, and send. So right here, we have buy. So we're gonna go ahead and press that. Now you need to make sure that you have money in your Cash App account to be able to do this, of course. In the very top, you see standard one-time order. This is where you can choose the frequency of how often you wanna buy. Right now, we're just gonna do a one-time buy, which is gonna go through right now. But if you wanna do a different frequency, we'll press on that. And this is gonna tell you if you wanna do it daily, weekly, or every two weeks. Now, there is a uh, $10 minimum for these recurring purchases, so you have to make sure that you have at least $10 in your account to do this. But th in this case, we're just gonna do a one-time purchase. So we're gonna go back to the, to the main screen, and we're gonna hit buy, and we're just gonna do $1. Now, one thing to know is that you can buy and sell Bitcoin 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The market never technically closes. So once you place this order, you can't go cancel it like you could with, with investing in the stock market through Cash App. With Cash App, if you're investing through the stock market, the stock market is open Monday through Friday from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you place a stock trade outside of those that window, then technically you'll have time to go in there and cancel that stock that stock trade that you placed. But since Bitcoin is open 24 hours and you can place trades 24 hours, when you place this trade, there is no going back. So just keep that in mind. I'm not saying do do, do it, I'm not saying don't do it, but just always remember that you can't cancel it, but you, couldn't, you can technically sell, which I'll show you how to sell here in a minute. In this case, we're just gonna buy $1 worth and before I show you that, you can see what the current price of Bitcoin is right there, 31857 at this point in time. So we're going to go ahead and hit buy, $1, next, cash pin. If you haven't done it yet, please do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button. And if you want more how-to content just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Now right here, you have to confirm, okay, do you actually want to buy this amount? So in this case, it's going to give you the breakdown, right? Uh, the amount is three, is that 3,000? 3, 3,045 sats, which stands for sat Satoshis. Uh, in one Bitcoin, there are 100 for some math, and to give you some background, what a Satoshi is, there's actually 100 million Satoshis within one Bitcoin. So think of like a Satoshi almost like a penny, right? There's 100 pennies in $1. Well, it's the same idea with Satoshis. There's, except there's a lot more. There's 100 million Satoshis in which equal one Bitcoin. So you're not gonna be getting a full Bitcoin, of course, because the current price is 31,855 and you're only putting a dollar worth in, but that gives you an idea of how much you're actually how much you're actually buying. Now, total Bitcoin purchase, 97 cents because there are fees involved when you purchase Bitcoin. You can actually see what the fees are because I'm not sure what they are. So let's click on that fees right there. And this is gonna take you to the Cash App website just to give you an idea of what the fees are for Bitcoin. I'm not gonna go through it right now. So we're gonna go ahead back to here and we are going to confirm. There you go, we've purchased 3,045 Satoshis. So we're gonna hit done. And as you see, my balance is now $16.17 worth of Bitcoin. So down here at the activity, you can see that today we've purchased 3,045. So that just confirms to you how much you've purchased. Now I hold most of my Bitcoin, not on Cash App. I own thousands of dollars in Bitcoin. Um, 
there's reasons that I don't buy a bunch of Bitcoin or, or my larger purchases of Bitcoin through the Cash App investing app or Cash App app, but I'm not gonna go through those details right now. Maybe in, at some, at a, in a video at some point in the future, I can go through it, but it's a little bit more of a process. And I do pay fees when I go purchase that Bitcoin in other in other places. So the three cent fee that, you're, that we pay, that I just paid on here, it's not a big deal. You're gonna pay a fee no matter where you purchase Bitcoin. So now if we wanna sell Bitcoin, it's pretty easy, I believe. I haven't actually technically done it, but it should be pretty easy. So we'll hit the sell button right there and we can choose how much we wanna sell. So for some reason, it gives me increments of two, four, eight, and 12. Let's see, can I just do $1? I don't know why it automatically gives me the option of, te- whoops, of selling two, four, eight, and 12. Um, okay, so we're we're gonna do a dollar. So we're gonna hit the three dots at the bottom right and we're gonna choose $1 next. Cash pin. Okay, and this tells us the amount, right? So there's 3,137 Satoshis is what $1 equals right now. And there are fees when you sell as well, it looks like there's a three cent fee. So technically total proceeds is gonna be 97 cents. So we're gonna confirm and you sold 3,137 Satoshis. We'll hit done. Now, let's see how it actually got deposited into my Cash App account. So there at the bottom right, you see $67. So let's check out my account balance. It should be $67 and maybe 97 cents. Let's find out. Yep, $67 and 97 cents because I initially started out with $67 before selling that. So that's how the money is gonna get deposited is back into your Cash App account. So that way you can go ahead and withdraw the money, send it to your bank account. You can use your Cash App card to swipe it and and use that 97 cents to purchase something. So let's go ahead through the process of how to send Bitcoin through Cash App. So we're gonna go back to here to the screen and right there you see an arrow. It's like a, looks like a mail symbol to send to something. So we're gonna hit send. And, oh, I have to enable sending and receiving because I haven't done this yet. So we'll go ahead and hit enable sending and receiving. Before sending Bitcoin, you'll need to verify your identity with a valid ID. Okay, I think I've already done that. We need a little more information to enable withdrawals and deposits. Okay. Verify your identity with a driver's license or state ID to continue. Okay, in this case, I don't have my ID with me. So let me go grab it real quick and then we'll just continue with this process. Okay, we're back, got my ID. So now we're gonna go ahead and scan my ID and see what happens. You can get a little picture of what you guys look like or what I'm looking at when I'm recording here. So I'm gonna scan this real quick. Give me a second. Okay, so I just scanned the front and back. Now it looks like it wants me to scan the front. Uh, Snap a well lit photo of your face to finish verification. Okay, here we go, this is strange. We'll use this photo. That's a bad photo. So maybe they just want to be super sure that you're actually who you are when it comes to Bitcoin. Because like I said, there's Bitcoin's a little, I don't want to say sketchy, but um, there's not as much regulation around it right now. So I think Cash App just wants to be sure and cover their own butt just to make sure they don't get in trouble. So that's probably why they're gonna have you do this when it comes to sending Bitcoin. So in this case, we have to select the main reason you use Bitcoin. In this case, I use Bitcoin for investing, long-term investing. We're gonna hit next. Uh, Select your main source of income. Uh, Right now I have occupation, I have a couple jobs. So we'll hit next. What is your job title? I'm gonna go ahead and type this in. Okay, so they're in the process of verifying my information and will update me soon. So unfortunately, I can't actually send Bitcoin at this point in time, but I'm kind of glad that we went through this process. That way you could see what's what might be coming down the pipeline if you decide that you do want to sell or send Bitcoin. Now, I can't remember what happened when I, when I initially was trying to buy Bitcoin. I believe I did have to verify that I am who I am. Uh, I think I did. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think as long, maybe as long as you have your information already in Cash App, you should be okay. But I think I did verify at some point, hey, I am who I am. I, I might have taken a, sc- a snapshot of myself, of my ID, I should say. 
um, to be able to start buying and selling Bitcoin. But so right now we're gonna have to wait. I apologize, I couldn't do this whole video of sending Bitcoin. I didn't realize that that would come up, but I'm glad that it did. That way you know what's gonna happen if you try to do that. If you want four free stocks from the Webull Investing app, then use my link down in the description of this video to open up an account. Now, one thing to keep in mind, once you open up an account with Webull, you have 30 days to deposit at least $100 to get those four free stocks worth up to $1,600. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to test necessarily invest. So once you deposit that initial $100, you can let it sit there, get your four free stocks, cash out that initial $100 that you put in, sell those four free stocks, cash out that money, and it's free money. So you kind of be crazy not to do that. Check out these videos to your left if you want more information on how to use the Cash App investing side of Cash App.